Hey sweet babies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you like fragrance, makeup, skincare, vlogs, real people, and real talk, then definitely subscribe to my channel. Okay y'all, today we are talking about unique wintertime fragrances. So of course I have other unique fragrances in my collection, but we gonna stick to season and just talk about the wintertime unique fragrances that I have in my collection. It's just something about them, something very much so different. They're not for everybody. So, you know, they may not be crowd pleasers. They may be crowd pleasers, but these are for the daring these are just for the people that like to stand out like different type of things now a lot of these are super popular so a lot of people do have them but like i said they just ain't for everybody you definitely have to test these out and see you know how they're gonna work for you let me know what fragrances that are in your collection for winter time that are super unique everybody can't wear them but you be rocking it girl so i'm gonna start with the newest fragrance in my collection and this one the smell itself isn't unique but what it did to me was super unique and that is caramel pop by viva more caramel pop is giving caramelized popcorn okay so that's not unique right because what about pop came out everybody was loving that i personally have not smelled what about pop i still want what about pop but this right here this was unique to me because oh, this is the most amazing caramelized popcorn like i can literally taste the popcorn like i feel like i've tasted this popcorn before and it's the perfect caramelized popcorn like it's so so good and buttery and soft and the caramel is just caramelized on there just right the perfect sweetness like 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 i really feel like i could taste this and i have not had that before i am a gourmand lover y'all know i love gourmands that smell perfumey but i also love gourmands that smell like food and i smell a lot of them i have a lot of them and a lot of them do remind me of food i feel like i know what the food is i can smell it but this actually made me feel like i could taste it and i was like oh i mean i was like starting to salivate when i smell this like oh oh my gosh like the caramelized popcorn is top here in here it's so so good y'all if y'all like the caramelized popcorn vibe yo yo you have to have to have to get your nose on this it's so good next is my good judy by the fireplace oh girl girl we didn't we didn't even know we did not know honey trust me i showed it though when i first purchased this y'all know i was like <laughs> just like a lot of y'all was like <laughs> what like oh no 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 so of course i gave it another try and it absolutely works like this is the winter time fragrance of course you have to like smokiness in your fragrances because this like i said you did not know that you wanted to smell like a fireplace <laughs> like nobody was like you know what i want to smell like a little burnt little ash and soot today you know what i'm saying like you know with a little vanilla <laughs> nobody said that nobody said that but baby men love this women love this and this is a unique fragrance because you smell like you buy a fireplace you absolutely do but you get the toasted chestnuts the roasting of the chestnuts on the open fire you get you get all of that you get the toasted marshmallows in there you get like warm spices like cloves and cinnamon and all of that like you get all of that this is an experience for sure but you have to love that like you can literally spray this on close your eyes and picture everything i just said like when you spray this and wear this like it's so good and trust me trust me i was definitely one of those people like mm -mm, hell no <laughs> hell no at first I, I was i really was it took me a minute okay it took me a minute but now i'm like damn every december i got to pull this out every december i've already worn it in december and i was just like girl i love your ashley self i love you <laughs> girl this is good next is the girl that shook the table because baby wasn't nobody thinking about putting bananas in their fragrances like this none other than ambrosia imperial by navitus and ai the great when i say this is one of the most unique fragrances in my collection because we have fragrances that have a lot of the same freaking notes but i have not one not one that has banana in it not one when she said she was doing banana i was definitely like ain't no what to expect girl but this is so good she shook the table on this one this is so freaking good it's sexy i'm getting definitely the bananas foster vibe for sure but it's grown and sexy bananas foster mm. 
the saffron makes this so sexy girl it's so so sexy then you have that sweet caramel you got whipped cream you got booziness in here you got all of that for me the banana lives through the life of the fragrance it doesn't go anywhere but it is perfect in this fragrance like I just love this fragrance so much this is a four life fragrance for me like I will never be without this this is so freaking good like girl it's like how did you do that like how did you do that like I was not checking for Navitas until this fragrance came out now I want everything from Navitas okay like everything because they just know what they're doing but they had to have the right creative direction and she put her foot in this with this banana love it Rescindo number five, honey, honey, who knew, who knew that we wanted to smell like burnt ties? Who knew that? Girl, girl, girl. Oh, mm -mm. give me all the eraser shavings, honey. Oh, this smells so good. This is an amazing, amazing fragrance. Okay, so if you don't know that there is a note in here that gives off a, some people call it burnt tires, rubber, pencil eraser, and, and and I get that in there but ugh, that is what makes this so unique so sexy the vanilla is super sweet and dense in here but it's also like light and airy the sillage on this is amazing the longevity is there like who knew that I would want to smell like this oh it's so good so good absolutely another four life fragrance for me like this is amazing this is definitely unique not for everybody I have never smelled that in a fragrance and and actually wanted to wear it and liked it you know what I'm saying when I smelled this I was like oh this is different that man knows how to blend fragrances now I have uh four five and six <laughs> angel share I mean a lot of people love angel share this is super popular for good reason between men and women so saying that it's unique you'd be like well everybody has it and everybody loves it so how is it unique you didn't never know that you wanted to smell like an apple pie until you put this on okay you didn't even know apple pie could be sexy until you put this on you didn't know you wanted to chase your apple pie with liquor until you put this on angel share is undefeated like this is a bomb fragrance it's smooth it's boozy you definitely get the apple pie it's sweet you get all of that it's it's a soft kind of in your scent bubble but still has like moderate projection type of feel to it but girl it will overtake a fragrance too at the same time like she needs no help like she doesn't like to share she doesn't like to be joint with other people you can definitely join her with other people she goes she plays well together but she really be wanting to be on her own because i guarantee you everything you layer with this you still smell angels share like rarely do you put this with something and it overpowers angel share even though angel share is not like a screaming type of fragrance girl when we, once we got our nose on this we wanted all the boozy apple pie all over us just smear it all over us child so angel share even even though it's super popular it's still a unique fragrance that you didn't know you needed until you had it gotta go with triumph of Bacchus because even though this is a tobacco fragrance and I have other fragrances with tobacco in them the tobacco stands out in here but it is blended with the other notes so well but the tobacco does not go anywhere I always feel like this has rose in it like it's a rose and cherry and tobacco there's actually no rose in there at least not in the notes anyway but it does have peaches and uh, booze and apple like green apples and all of that is that's probably what makes this like such a sweet um tobacco it's like a sweet red tobacco the peach and the green apple kind of gives it like a like a cherry smell to it like it's warm spicy it's great performance like i did not know that i would love tobacco being in the forefront of a fragrance until i started wearing triumph of Bacchus. and i've told y'all many times that this is a highly complimented fragrance and it's highly complimented by women so you know it's unisex a man can wear it, a woman can wear it. if you like very feminine and girly fragrances you're probably going to say this leans masculine so definitely get a sample or a small bottle or something and test it out but if you like tobacco if you like a good tobacco fragrance i'm talking about like a side effect and fragrances like that you have to get your nose on triumphal pockets like this is the tobacco fragrance blanche bed Blanche Bet. Yes, Blanche Bet is in here. So why is it unique when everybody loves it? Or not everybody, but a lot of people love it. And it's so super popular and all of that. So why do you think it's unique, Denise? This changed the minds of many women when it came to lactonic fragrances. Blanche Bet is giving all of milkiness. It's giving all of the milky creaminess 
that you ever want sweet and just oh it's just so good but a lot of women that did not like lactonic fragrances they got their nose on this and was like damn like i didn't know a milky fragrance could smell that good it will it will literally change your mind now for some people it was still a little bit too milky and that's okay but it did switch the minds of a lot of people when they got their nose on this and it is definitely unique it's something very mystical in here i think it has like mystical notes it says and it's something mystical in here it's something very alluring intriguing almost about this fragrance and i feel like it's hyped for a reason so that is why this is one of the wintertime unique fragrances in my collection next is overture overture is unique in my collection because i can't explain it yeah i cannot explain how this smells once you smell it out the bottle you're like oh my gosh it smells so good and it smells even better when you wear it but then if someone asks you well what do you smell I can't pinpoint no notes like I can't say well I smell this or I smell that like I can't I can't whatever is in here is blended to perfection it's creamy it's slightly fruity but like the meat of a fruit and I think it's fig and, and I feel like it's the meat of the fig fruit you know what I'm saying and then a the lightness to it like oh, I, I, mm. I don't even know how to, to describe this this is one of those like you have to smell it like you you just have to smell it i, I don't know I, I don't know it has a little warm spiciness but it's creamy at the same time and light but dense i i don't know it's it's so so good and you won't know how to explain it when you get it you won't know how to explain it when you wear it like it's just it's good and the bottle is gorgeous and that that's a good thing too <laughs> I had to put guidance in here even though i don't have the bottle but y'all know what the bottle looks like guidance is definitely unique honey this was a hit or miss honey this was a tug of war for the girls everybody ran for it because it was so hyped and popular and all of the things and then a lot of girls got it and was like mm -mm, mm -mm, i don't like that i don't want it i don't mm -mm. if any of y'all got it and y'all don't want it y'all can just mail it to me girl because i want it i want a full bottle like oh my gosh like this is so good but I can see why it ain't for everybody. It's definitely unique. To me, it has like an incense smokiness in it. You look at the nose, girl, ain't no incense and smoke in here, but it smells like incense smokiness, a little nutty, a little creamy. It says it's pear in here, but I don't get no pear. I don't get no pear. If I get pear, it's like a, a sweet, cooked down type of pear, not like a juicy, ripe, vibrant pear. It's not giving that. It's not giving that. Yeah, it's like a nutty creaminess incense -y. like when you say that you're like oh that sounds like it's thing <laughs> like but oh, to me it, it works it absolutely works i love it and i do see why some people will be like mm -mm, that's not for them but on me and on my skin and on my clothes girl this thing was given i'm here for it my good judy chinatown nobody likes her <laughs> nobody likes chinatown it's like three of us on youtube that like this like nobody likes chinatown i like chinatown i might need to put her back on my other track on my uh weekly track but girl like you have to love tuberose okay because tuberose is the start of the show but it also has cardamom so the cardamom gives it a spice so it's like a sweet tuberose with cardamom so you have to like that this is definitely not for everybody but it's so good and when you wear this and this blows in the wind like it's just so much better it's unique because don't nobody like it okay so not everybody's gonna have this on so this is absolutely something you can wear out and about on a brisk day and it's just gonna flow through the air and yeah it's like how can i explain this is it like oriana layered with gris charnel or something like that i don't know maybe i just came up with something i don't know that's kind of the vibe though but yeah chinatown is good and definitely unique speaking of gris chanel gris chanel is a unique fragrance and i feel like it is because it's one of those that got a lot of us into cardamom like cardamom was always like a spicy type of manly type of smell but it is done so right in here i had fomo for so long because everybody was talking about how great this is but a lot of people was like mm -mm, it's masculine it's da, 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 da. so i was kind of scared but then i was like but everybody got it and a lot of people love it da, da, da. i'm gonna just go on and get it girl i got it and i was like oh no this is good 
I actually had a decant of it and went and dug for that decant. And when I smelled it, I was like, oh no, that's good. And ordered a full bottle. But it's still definitely a unique fragrance because the cardamom with the fig, that fig is definitely a unique note because like I feel like if you take the cardamom out, then you start to smell what's in the back of Overture. Like, yeah, ooh, I should layer this with Overture. This with Overture? Mm-hmm. That's a vibe. See, I done, I done gave y'all another winter combo. If you didn't see my winter combo video, then go watch it, girl. But now we got now we got another one. See, that's what I'm saying. Oh, it's so good. So this this and I would say Chinatown too are fragrances that opened me and a lot of the ladies up to cardamom, up to wood, like woody kind of unisex fragrances, because this is like one of the most unisex fragrances in a lot of women's collection. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely think this is a unique fragrance, especially in the BDK house. This and Tobacco Rose are my two favorites. Um, there's a couple more that I want to get, but I think this is a unique scent when it came out. It shook the table and I see why. So those are some wintertime unique fragrances in my collection. Don't forget to leave yours down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, share, and of course subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.